Cyber Cyber Friends, it's Mitty Man coming back at you again from Walker's Music. We got another word for the day, Nightcap Edition. Yes, friends, Saturday night. And we went out today. We had to choir rehearsal this morning. And uh, we give God the glory. And giving a shout out to the YouTube fam. Y'all, y'all know who y'all are. The end time harvest game. And we've been saying that uh, we give y'all. And I was talking to Brother JT. Uh, man, uh, things have been kind of a little, little distance here lately. We've both been kind of missing each other, man. And uh, I saw you come online the other night, and I couldn't have been able to get you. I wasn't able to, to hit you before you had got off. Nevertheless, though, we all know, man, everything, how, I don't know what's going on with the, with the, with the, the thing. I see something, like I said, I just not saw one of your videos not too long ago, I think it was, and I don't see many of them like posted like I once have. But if you like me, I don't really got to the point now where I'm just about posting one a day. That's all I'm just about doing. I mean, tonight is my first time coming back with a nightcap edition in a in a good little while. But nevertheless, man, I want to tell you that I was I was checking out the video you sent me, Brother JT here, man, a few months back. You sent me the video about the guy, the preacher that was teaching on the uh about the the musicians, the preachers, and the doorkeepers of it, and about how the tithe was supposed to keep those that was in the uh, that keep the temple. The tithe, that's what the tithe was for. Then you got some people that's ignorant, and that's the only thing I know how to say it because I don't I don't believe in trying to satisfy both sides. I come straight down the middle with the nothing, nothing but the naked truth. And if you can, if people can't accept the truth, then you know I mean I. I there's nothing I can do about that. But even to the Apostle Paul said, come on people. He's in other words, have common sense. You don't muzzle the ark to tread out the corn. Paul even said, said now in other words, you, that, 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 that's common sense, people. He said, those that labor in the temple should of the temple, of the temple be compensated with them by the things of the temple. That's a given, people. But I didn't come here to speak on that per se, but I come to say some things about the way where it stands about now. People need to do some more study. They need to understand the study of the of the Bible and understand how God takes things seriously and he's not playing. When it comes to worship and praise, people, the Holy Spirit loves music. I know that's going to shock a lot of people. But the Holy Spirit loved music and singing. Um, your service is dead without a music ministry. I don't care who don't like it. But if the Holy Spirit is going to show up, if you're going to have any power in your service, there better be some worship and praise, and it ain't going to be no thrown together stuff either. People, that is scripture. Now, a lot of people don't understand that. They don't want to hear that. that a lot of them, they don't want to hear that, but that, that, that's the Bible. Go read your Bible. But at any rate, I understand and I realize, being a musician myself, and uh, people will say, you, well, you know, they always going to stick together. No, I'm going to stick with the truth. I don't stick with nobody because of what they are. I stick with the truth. The truth of the matter is, I don't care who you are. Whoever is employed, if they are a musician in your particular church, they deserve to get their share. They deserve it. It is only right. I don't care whether they be a keyboard player or a bongo player. They, they are musicians, all of them. And all of them should be treated accordingly. Now, you got some people that feel that, well, you know, you freely give, you are free to receive, you freely give. Okay. You donate, I feel the musicians should donate their time. Okay, well, why don't you go down to Piggly Wiggly and donate your time? If you feel that way it is, when, on Friday, when you get, in other words, when you be done did all your labor that week and on that Friday, tell your boss, man, that I just donated that to you. You don't have to worry about it. I mean, come on. If we're going to start donating everything, let's donate it all across the table. <laughs> you know what, people? <laughs> we need to use common sense. I mean, 
How can you expect Kwan? Now I come out with Glad Bro JT sent me that video. This guy was right on point, and I know that he's not gonna have a lot of people to. He's not gonna get invited to a lot of church. Not if he's preached that, because see, people don't want to hear truth. They want to hear something what they want to hear. But now I realize and I understand that there are a lot of times that they are, we are we are not doing our part as musicians. We want to come in late for service. We want to throw something together and then get out of there. That's not right either. And I don't I don't blame a church for not trying to employ that kind of activity because that's not right. If you're being paid for a service, you should render it. You should render it well and do your very very best. Give it your 100 percent at all costs. That's the way it should be. God in the 100th Psalm it said, "Make a joyful noise." unto the Lord. Then it goes on in the 150th Psalm and said, let everything to have breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise is a very, worshiping praise is a very, very important part of the worship service people. You might as well get that through your head because that's not going to change because singing is the only thing that really delights the Holy Spirit. He loves music and he loves singing. Now I know some people going to disagree. Well, I ain't here to argue the scripture. You read the Bible yourself. It's right there in your Bible. So with that being said, this man just had to come back and just, you know, kind of touch base on that a little bit to let everybody know. It's, 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 Jesus is coming soon. No, I come I know that people. Because people getting more and more, look like to me, off their rock about a day. It seems like that we are letting Satan just just blind us to truth. The more and the more each day God singing, instead of look like us, we getting closer and trying to get things right for kingdom building. We joining up with the enemy. Instead of kingdom building, we trying to tear down. But like I say, we'll never get the building built as long as I'm laying a brick and you taking two off. That'll never work, people. That'll never work. So I say it again to the YouTube fam, the End Time Harvest Game. We just keep on with the kingdom building. Hopefully, I, like I spoke to a pastor uh, earlier, hopefully one day I pray that we all get it right and that we can see things for the truth of them and what they really mean and get into this truth. Because people, Jesus is coming soon, and I hope to be ready, and I want everybody else to be ready. I don't want to be in heaven to be too lonely by myself. I want everybody to go, but I got I got some sad news. If if a lot of us don't change our ways, a lot of us not going to make it, people. I mean, that goes for the people that's called to be inside the church. Because the people outside of the world, outside the church, they just doing what come natural. I don't fault them as much because they doing what come natural. But we who claim that we know Christ, and I do say claim to know Christ, something that's to be desired, people. That being said, I'm going to say it like I always say. Whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God is not in it, it's best that you come out of it. It's a man saying peace. Goodbye.